I can't control you, you can't control me, you can't control me, you're not the one for me now, I can't control you, you can't control me, I can't control you, you're not the one for me now, I love the way you look at me, I love the way you smack my ass, I love the dirty things you do. Uh, I can't control you. <laughs> UFC WWE 229. This is the shit that I paid for, damn it. Well, I didn't pay for it. Went to a house party for it. But still, this is what we witnessed. We witnessed the WWE at its full extent. This is the most hyped thing in professional wrestling since an independent show sold out the Sears Center on September 1st. This is how hyped professional wrestling is right now with Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Is that now, after this big fight, the biggest fight in UFC history, according to Joe Rogan and Uncle Dana himself, now, we have this WWE thing. This fight was already trendy. This fight was already being talked about. And after Khabib Nurmagomedov got that goddamn neck crank on Conor, and Conor McGregor does what he does best when he is getting choked, he just taps out. He does not like that feeling. He just says, screw it. I ain't doing this fucking shit. I ran a drink on Papa 12. Then fucking being choked. Conor McGregor tapped out. Whatever, who cares, a lot of fighters tap. It is what it is. But then afterwards, Khabib Nurmagomedov decides to go, jump over the cage, go on and do a oh, ah, Superman punch on Dylan Dennis out of all fucks in the world. And then afterwards, McGregor is getting up. He does not know what's going on. And one of Khabib's teammates comes and goes and get, tries to hit him with a clothesline from hell. God dang, Vince. Survivor Series is in LA. You know what to do. We don't give a fuck about GM Corbin with his bald hair going bum 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 and Kurt Angle going, oh it's true, it's damn true. No, what you need to do is get Khabib and Connor train these fuckers in wrestling. I don't care if you have to put Big Show on one of these fuckers' teams. Put them together, cause that's what we need. We need Khabib versus Connor UFC WWE Team Survivor Series match. Let them at it. You know this event is messed up. When Tony Ferguson, the most cringiest guy in the UFC, who kicks lead pipes, who does a bunch of crap, and just is so funny, comes off as the number one baby face at the end of the night. Like seriously, Ferguson and Pettis, wonderful fight, great stuff, I enjoyed it, Duke Rufus, Great job protecting your fighter and Anthony Pettis with that broken hand. I mean, sure, I bet you Pettis wanted to continue. He looked like he wanted to continue. But Duke Rupus is like, no, you know what, man? You're just going to get blown up for the rest of the fight. Fuck that shit. I, I respect that, Duke Rupus. I give you props right there. Uh, but when it comes down to it, man, Tony Ferguson became the number one babyface in the lightweight division. Heck, Nate Diaz. For all the stuff that Nate Diaz has done in his lifetime. Now Nate Diaz is coming out looking like a normal human being in this lightweight division. Habib, who has been known for being humble and being someone who respects his religion, all of a sudden turns heel out of nowhere. This is the biggest heel turn since Seth Rollins betrayed the shield, okay? This is really a huge heel turn. Does it make sense? I don't know. It's up to you guys, but what a heel turn by Habib. Right now, like, as I'm being filming this, I'm trying to watch the UFC press conference. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get flagged because I showed a little bit of the footage, but hey, it's on my phone. I don't care. But when it comes down to it, there's nothing going on, man. Dana White is studying his script. Dana White does not know what to say. The bald-headed guy is, is, is saying, man, man, I, I, I don't know how Vince does this. This is crazy. Oh, crazy adding to UFC 229. Did it tarnish the sport? Did it make the sport look bad? Ah, yet for the casual viewer, yeah. Oh, sportsmanship is bad. Uh. And for all the people, oh, Khabib is such a dirty fucker. Look at what this guy did. 
Let's not forget Connor threw a dolly at a bus with a bunch of UFC fighters on it. Let's forget about that. Because Khabib uh, jumped the cage after a fight and beat up one of Connor's teammates who has been talking shit about him the whole goddamn time. Let's forget about that. Let's forget about that. And let's just talk about how Khabib went all oh, ah, on, a, on a Conor McGregor teammate. Let's forget about that. But when it comes down to it, man, the one person who I feel like was wrong in this situation was pretty much was pretty much Khabib's teammate. And look, El Kukui is coming on the stage, so I got to wrap this video up because I got to see what the number one baby face in the UFC is talking about right now, okay? He's now the number one face in the UFC. You guys know me. I rag on El Kukui. I'm going to hit you up with a little bit of punches and make you do a little bit of salsa. You know what I mean? I always rag on this fucker, but I got to give him props tonight. He was a baller tonight. But when it comes down to it, man... UFC is out WWE, the WWE, Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor, even New Japan, man. Even PWG, no wrestling company can cop what the UFC is doing. Derek Lewis is a beast. Michelle Waterson, you were bored as hell in the first fight. It was, yeah, it was a technical fight, but really, to be honest, when you're on a car like this, go out and do stuff. Dominic Reyes looked phenomenal in the first round. I don't know what happened in the last two rounds. Pettis versus Ferguson was a war. Habib and McGregor was a solid main event, but ultimately, WWE UFC 229, two thumbs up, awesome show. I'm going to go watch El Kukui cut the promo of his lifetime. Number one babyface in the UFC. I'm a big El Kukui fan now. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Comment section, ah, whatever, fuck it, who cares? I'm not professional anyways.